Margaritas are hot, but you know, I'm kind of tired of drinking this water, so. So I commute and I drive in my little Yaris, but sometimes I carpool with my friend that works at Vaca High. I drive my truck. I drive. I live out of town, so I don't have the option but to drive. I usually drive. I drive from Vallejo. I drive, I should say. No. There are no other teachers that carpool. Not really, not really anymore. I used to do it with my dad, but... Um, I think a few do, perhaps from Davis every now and then. Um, no, not really. No. No, I don't. I'll say that there's areas of campus that often get neglected with trash because it's like out of sight, out of mind. So like outside of the S-Wing, there's that, I don't know what it is, it's like that cagey thing that covers some like machine thing mm -hmm. and there's like chip bags and stuff that are shoved between that cage thing and the wall mm -hmm. and it's like super hard to get to but like I mean who knows how long that trash has been there. Every time I go outside. Every day. Usually every time I go outside sometimes there's like trash in the bushes or like in the S-wing there's like this like I don't know it's like this crate thing and like behind it it's like a bunch of like it's just a lot of trash it's just gross. Really infrequently compared to other campuses I've worked at. Probably it's the cleanest campus I've been to. All the time. Okay. But but it's not like it used to be. Yes. Yeah, you know, that happens, but mostly just get really pissed off when that happens and then like coat their rooms is a big deal and someone's room gets messy and so I guess you'd say yeah. No, they no. They're young, responsible adults, and I think once you set the expectation. They, they know what it looks like. Oh, yes. oh yeah. People never clean up after themselves. Nominally, like a bit messy, not too bad. Uh, not like a huge mess. The garbage can't usually overflow for this, but it. Yeah, they have times. Be like everyone takes care of their own trash, but since that's Supposedly what's been taught from forever is you clean up after yourself and that clearly doesn't always happen I think it's if everyone everyone follows the policy of leaving the place better than you found it So being willing to take care of trash that isn't yours Even if it's like mysterious trash from some rando and not something that your friend left behind Pick up your trash and not just leave it there and be mean you Actually pick it up after yourself. If anyone does that, you won't have trash at all Let's have like um, instead of in-house suspension or in-house detention, those kids, when they're sent, as soon as they're sent there, they have to pick up trash on campus, and it's just like an automatic thing. I think just the inclusion of more garbage cans helps. Like if it's if people see that they have to walk across a crowd through a quad, then they'd rather just leave it on the table and tell themselves that they'll pick it up, but they won't later. But I think more garbage cans spread out more would help. Mostly, we got enough garbage cans on campus. It's just kids walking over there and putting it in, not shooting baskets going behind their back, you know, it's just like that. Easy to see, like I can pick this up right now and just pick it over the garbage can right here. 
hard. It's really not that hard. But people just go ahead and litter and stuff. There's a garbage can right there. Drop. Wait, what are you doing? <laughs> Linnea, Linnea. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm saving energy. <laughs> Dude, stop! Interviewed. <laughs> what? Oh. No, okay. Come hither! I'm going to get my double. Ah! Dig from my I litter because I'm too lazy to go to the I actually don't litter. Do you want me to lie? Wow. Shooting baskets, 